Mas, how are you? How was your summer break? Uh, it was fantastic. I had a good summer. I went on holiday. So, uh, no, I had a, I had a fantastic break. Usually when players get to the end of May, they are desperate for a break after a long season. Was that slightly different for you this year because of the injury? Uh, maybe, yes, because I started at the end of the season, I started to get fitter and fitter. And uh, it felt to me like uh, it just started because uh, at the end I, st- uh, I played two games. But uh, for me, it felt like the, the, it just started and everything has to come. So uh, that was a little bit strange, but at the end... Um, I trained a lot this year because um, I was in the gym all the time, so my body was tired as well. So it was good that I could go on holiday and uh, clear my mind because it was a difficult year for me and start all over again to, uh, this year. You described last season as horrible uh, for obvious reasons, but the important thing was you did get on the pitch for those last two games. How important was it to get those games under your belt? That was really important um, for me because... Um, it gives you a good feeling. Uh, if I didn't play the last two games, I would go into my holiday with a bad feeling. And uh, But I could feel at the end of the season, the, the last few weeks, um, I, uh, I was really fit and I felt I felt great. So I was happy. Uh, the boss gave me the confidence and uh, put me into the team. Back in training this week then, what kind of work have you been doing so far? Uh, a lot of stuff, uh, especially physical work to, to build up your physical ability again. And... Um, yeah, that's the most important uh, in the first weeks, and uh, that's what we what, that's what we did uh, this week. A lot of running and hard work. This is the foundations you put in for the season yeah. ahead. How sharp do you feel now, and and how long does it take to get to your best in pre-season? Uh, yeah, that depends on uh, on each person, I think. But um, yeah, you, you you had a break for four weeks, and I think if you are fit at the end of the season. You don't lose that much. I think uh, you will lose a little bit, but uh, in a few weeks you're, you're fit again. So maybe after one or two weeks you feel you feel already good. So Asia Tour, just around the corner. What are your expectations of China and Malaysia? Um, yeah, I've been there once in, in, in China and uh, for the Olympic Games. So it was a nice experience. Um, it's a different culture, of course, and it's always uh, nice to go there and, and, and learn about uh, their culture. It's, it's something different to uh, what we used to. And um, so I'm looking forward to go there. What have you heard about the Arsenal fans over there? Uh, I've heard uh, the Premier League is uh, is really popular there. Uh, I think everybody's watching the games, and uh, I heard Arsenal is really popular as well. So uh, that's the reason why we go there. Of course, Austria, you had plenty of people come to watch your training sessions, but I gather anything up to 30,000 could be at the training sessions yeah. in China. That would be incredible for training. That would be amazing, and it would be a good atmosphere to train on if you... If you train for 30,000 people, normally we, we don't train for, for, not, for nobody and now we go, go on the pitch and train for, for 30,000 people. That's, uh, that's amazing. Lots of travelling involved this year, especially compared <coughs> to last year. Is that something that bothers you at all? Um, yeah, it's not, it's not nice to, to travel a lot, of course. It's, it's, not, it's not the best for your body, but if you can have this kind of experience in, uh, in Malaysia and China, it's worth it, I think. And, uh, so it doesn't bother me to, to travel a lot for, for this kind of experience. And the Emirates Cup is the first game on the home soil, first two games, I should say, Boca Juniors and New York Red Bulls. Two yeah. very different kinds of teams, two very different kinds of challenges. Yeah, yeah, diff- yeah it's, I think so. They are, they are both different teams, yeah. And uh, these are the first uh, um, games we play at the Emirates in this season, and it's always a new start, and uh, it feels like that. So uh, I'm looking forward to to play there. You say about it being a new start, at this time of year everything is possible isn't it? There's optimism, everyone is hungry, everyone is sharp, anything can happen. Yeah, you st- uh, everybody starts from, from zero and everybody has to start again and uh, you get a new chance and that's always a good feeling when you, people give you a chance to, to win something and uh, the past is behind us and uh, it's always too good to look into the future. and, and, and that's what we do now. We, we start all over again this season. We get a new chance and uh, we go for it this year. As for you, Thomas, you've always got that hunger to do well. But is there a, an extra determination this year because of what happened to you last year? Uh, personally, yes, of course. Um, I played a lot of games in my first year and uh, I hope to do well in, in my second year. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I had a big injury and I couldn't play a lot. So I couldn't show the people a lot. And uh, I'm determined to to go on the pitch this year and, and, and fight for it, yeah. People talk about Arsenal last year 
if you looked at last year's games, where would you say is the one thing that the club, the team, needs to improve? That's difficult to say um, because it's sometimes we had a little bit of bad luck as well. Um, if you look, maybe four or five weeks before the end of the season, or maybe a little bit longer, we were playing for for the title and uh, we had a good chance to win it. And, and and the last few weeks we lost it. Yeah, there are a lot of reasons why why we we didn't win it, but it's uh, it's difficult to say uh, uh, exactly one one thing and. Yeah, it's it's sometimes you have bad luck and, and it's it's a balance, you know. Sometimes it goes right, sometimes it it goes bad and, and last year it went it went bad. So what can you say? I think overall at the beginning of the season, a, a, a long time of the season we were doing really well and we were playing for the for the title for for the as a champion and, and at, we lost it at the end of the of the of the of the season. If you read the papers and you believe what you read in the papers, Arsenal have all sorts of issues at the moment. What's the reality here at the training ground? Yeah, that's difficult to say. Um, you hear a lot in the papers, people going, people coming. So um, we don't know a lot because it's it's up to the boss, it's up to the people from the club to decide who's coming and who's leaving. So um, we don't know uh, more than you guys. We only um, we only focused on our training this. Uh, these following weeks, and that's and that's it. And we will see what's going uh, what's going to happen. A couple of new faces in training: Carl Jenkinson's coming from Chelsea. Rio Miacci has done well in the Dutch league, and he's come over here as well. I know you've not done much ball work, but what are your impressions of them so far? Uh, yeah, we did a lot of physical work, and you could see Carl is really is really fit. And uh, especially today, we did a uh, maximum test, and he was uh, I think he was the first. So that shows he's, he's, he's physically he's ready for for the Premier League, I think. And uh, so and if you look at Rio, yeah, I've seen him a few times in uh, in the Dutch league because I can follow it really well, and uh, he did well in in, in Feyenoord. The people, the crowd loved him there, and um, some friends of mine they they play with him and they said he's he's, he's a good guy and he's technically he's really he's really good. So I'm looking forward to know them better the following weeks when we play more games and 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 train more with the ball. Rio is very young, but he's done a lot already. What kind of a player is he? He's quite direct. He's really a technical player. He's, uh, I think he's, uh, I don't know his position exactly. I think he's more a winger. I, in, in Holland, he played <coughs> as a winger, and technically he's really well. Uh, one against one, he's, he's really dangerous, and uh, I think he can score goals as well. One notable departure so far, Gael Clichy. Uh, how much of a loss will he be? Yeah, it's a big loss, of course. Gael is, uh, is a great player, and uh, he done a good job for for Arsenal, I think. And it's it's always a shame uh, good players leaving and. Uh, but I wish him all the best at Man City, and uh, that's his choice, of course. And uh, I wish he could stay more years here at Arsenal because he was a good player.